Okay. I'm working on three hours sleep, and I had to get up at 6 a.m. I haven't felt this good since the last time I saved someone's life. Okay. Now, my father, who was a contractor, she met a worker, worked on several projects for Mr. Trump, President Trump, I should say, happily say. And my father does know the president personally, did a couple of jobs for him um, many years ago. My father's retired 19 years. My father's 81 years old. He's recovering from um, hernia surgery. And my mother had to put him in a car and drive him a block away and hold his hand and walk him into the place to vote. He voted. So all you whiny bitches that don't want to vote because you're too fucking lazy, okay? Thank you. I went to bed. My father went to bed at 1.30. Heard the commotion from the t television. There was no official winner. I went to bed at 2 o'clock because everyone except Fox News said that Mr. Trump had won Pennsylvania. I went to bed. And I'm in bed. And at 2.45, I hear my father clapping. And I run outside. And my mother and my father jump up and down. Well, my mother's jumping down. My father's sitting in the fucking chair because he can't move because it's fucking hernia. But, okay. Now, this... I ever had a friend of mine, her, she's a cop professor, and her student tried to resist an armed robbery and getting some shot. Okay. She posted this on Facebook. And this sums up why I'm scared to shit of the next generation. Okay. Okay. 100% attendance in my 8 a.m. freshman business class. 26 students, 18 to 19 year olds. Year olds. They asked me what I think will happen with the Dream Act. LBG, LB, LGBT rights, women's health care, and immigration. Unfortunately, I had no answers. On to my 9.45 a.m. business class. And I responded. Not for nothing, but even by young people's standards, you have some pretty stupid students. They need to look at Kate Steinle's dream. They need to look at the money Hillary takes from countries that throw gay people off rooftops. And they need to know that Torturing a baby to death is not health care. And they need to know there is a huge, I get it, difference between legal and illegal immigration. Her friends, oh my, I think 25, 30 fucking responses. Okay. And here's the problem. I personally don't think Trump has a problem with gays. Okay, he probably has gay people working for him. He came out to support the gay community and their right to bear arms after the Orlando shooting. But we know for a fact that Hillary only supports gays when they vote for her. In all these Muslim countries where the law says, the law says in these Muslim countries, if someone accuses you of being gay, you are to be hanged by the neck until dead or thrown off a rooftop alive. That's what the law says. No trial. Okay? So when you complain that a gay guy can't get a wedding cake for his boyfriend here in America, Remember that that gay guy will get thrown off a roof in fucking every Middle Eastern country. Okay? And healthcare. Women's healthcare means abortion. Okay? Specifically abortion to the ninth month of pregnancy. Which is a disgrace to humanity. And there's a difference between illegal and legal immigrants. Okay? Period. Okay? Someone who comes here legally and learns English and gets a job is a totally different person to me than someone that came here illegally. In particular, if they came here illegally, committed a felony, went to prison and stayed, or came back, like Kate Stanley's killer. Now the Dream Act, the Dream Act is basically the ultra fanatical liberal Democrats wanted to give every illegal alien citizenship as quickly as possible. Not legalization status, citizenship. No questions asked, period. Why? So they can vote for them. Okay? And these fucking young people. And keep in mind, my nephew is 18 years old. He voted. This is his first election. Trump won. My first election, I voted for George Bush. First thing he won. Okay? My niece, my nieces are 19 and 22. Okay? <coughs> young people in my family 
were taught the difference between right and wrong. Okay? And they were taught at a very early age that someone who takes money from countries that kill gay people has no business calling themselves a gay rights activist, period, end of story. Okay? Period. Okay? And my nieces, my nephews are taught that all babies are precious, especially when they're most vulnerable. And the babies in my family who were born by accident, there were a couple of people in my family, on both sides of my family, that were born by accident. And they are just as important as the people in my family who were born on purpose. Period. End of story. No questions asked. Okay? And if you're worried about illegal immigrants getting magic citizenship for no reason, but you're not worried about an illegal immigrant coming here, committing a crime, going to prison, getting out of prison, and killing an innocent person like Kate Stanley, then you, you, you need your fucking head examined, okay? I am sick and fucking tired of the fucking stupidity in this country. I had a, another friend of mine in high school who was Hispanic. She thinks she's getting deported. She's an American citizen. So they're gonna deport me. Like, what are you fucking kidding me? Okay. But this best sums it up, okay? This best sums up the mentality that Hillary Clinton was tapping into. Okay? Young people who are legally old enough to vote 18, 19, 20, but are so fucking stupid. And my family, my nieces and my nephews, okay, my little cousins, my family, okay. They were taught, okay? They're not fucking stupid like this, okay? My fucking 12-year-old nephew knows that it's wrong to rip her into a fucking woman's pussy and yank her baby's head out, okay? This is fucking disgusting. And one of the replies I got was like, you know, you're not, when you become female, then you can talk about women, whatever, okay? okay. And I said, okay, my grandfather is not a Jew. Well, my grandfather passed away, God rest his soul. My grandfather was not a Jew. But he didn't lose any sleep over liberating a Nazi death camp. Okay? And I said, it takes a male and a female to make the baby. So why is it only the woman's choice the baby needs to do when the baby's killed? Okay? Stop being stupid. Okay? The founding fathers gave us the first democracy since Rome. Okay? And people have died. Too many people, whether it be Revolutionary War, Civil War, World War II, Civil Rights Act, okay? Too many people have died for these young people to be stupid. And that's what they are. They're stupid. And one of my friends' friends said, why don't you block this man? Why are you, you know, why are you doing, why, why, which, and I said, why am I blocking? I'm telling the truth. Well, I've read several of your opinions. I'm like, this is, this is my fact, okay? This is a fact, okay? If these kids were upset that Hillary Clinton won, I mean, they're saying, well, how are, LB, how are LGBT people going to get rights now that Hillary lost, okay? Hillary doesn't give a fuck about the gays, period, okay? Hillary, okay? Women, okay? Does she give a fuck about women? No. Ask Kathy Shelton, okay? Does she give a fuck about... Mothers, no. Ask Tyrone Woods' mother or Glenn Doherty's mother or Sean Smith's mother or Ambassador Stevens' mother. They have mothers. Okay, and Chris Peranto, who followed me on Twitter, by the way, great man. I told him before I went down to vote. I said, you know, your friends can't vote. I'm going to vote for them. And he responded to me like one second. Like, Thanks, brother. And he retweeted it out. And he once retweeted it, there it is. Okay, that's what you have to understand. Okay, we have to understand Hillary Clinton has gotten people killed. Okay, period. Now, I know Donald Trump said pussy 11 years ago. And I know he's on his third marriage. Okay, I know that shit. Okay? And my father did outsmart him once. I mean, yeah, my father outsmarted him. Another topic for another day. But if you're more worried about illegal immigrants than Kate Stanley, you're a fucking idiot. Okay, if you're walking around thinking that Hillary Clinton gives a fuck about the gays, you're a fucking idiot. Okay, too many people have died for you to be stupid. 
Okay? Grow a fucking brain, idiots.